Welcome back to Gar's Graveyard Garage. We are back with the old Falcon and we're going to see if we can actually get this thing driving and stopping. So here we go. Happy Thanksgiving everybody. Hope everybody enjoyed it. I'm not doing a lot today because I am still full from eating a lot of food yesterday, but I figured we could at least start uh, getting the fuel system going on this thing and start inspecting the brakes, getting the wheels that are seized up unseized. The only thing I've checked is I know the fuel pump is bad. I uh, did a random check the other day and put some fuel into it. It does nothing. I've soaked it, primed it, done everything. It's just shot. So I got a brand new one here. So we're going to start out there. We're going to uh, get this old pump off, get the new one on, get it hooked up to a portable bottle for right now. And then we'll start inspecting the uh, fuel lines and the gas tank, which I'm sure is pretty gnarly. So let's hop under the hood first. Let's see. Get up in here. Well, that was very loose. The way this pump is, it almost looks like it could be rebuildable, but we'll play with that later. I'd rather have a new part on here. That way the gentleman that's getting this car can enjoy it and not have to worry about things breaking. Get out of there. All right, there we go. There's the old one. And let's see if this new one's gonna match up. Okay, okay. Uh oh, I do see that fitting. And that one does not screw out. Great. We have that one. So I need to find a hose nipple for that one. Everything else looks good. Okay. Well, let me see if I can find one of these fittings. I don't know if I have one laying around or it's going to be another trip to the parts store, but we'll, uh, I guess tune back in when we get to uh, that point. All right, came up with a idea. Went ahead and pulled the bottom cap off of this thing and if you can see how bad that is down in there. But I'm like, you know what? This bottom cap is the same as this one. So I took it off, cleaned it all up and we're just gonna put it on here. And uh, at least this one says made in the USA. Okay, let me, uh, yeah, let's see if we can get this cap off and it should go right on there. And then all we have to do is pull this fitting off, put it on there, and then we should be able to get it back on the car. All right, let's see. Come on. Go. Get this seal off of here. I 
And, yep, should be good to go. Less chance of a, a leak, too, since that's a press fit. But I'm sure this new one's probably made in China. All right. Perfect. Now let me, uh, where's my crescent? Uh, let's see if we can get this fitting off of here. Clean it up before we put it on there because it's pretty, pretty dark, dirty. Okay. Get this cleaned up. Make sure this is the right. Yep. Okay. Let me get this cleaned up. We'll get, I'll get that put in and then we'll, uh, get this uh, new one on the car. All right, got our new gasket on. Let's see if we can get this thing stabbed in there. Or if the, it's gonna fight with us. But so far, this car has been very polite. Fall off, don't fall off. Okay, just for initial test, we're just gonna use the uh, squirt bottle. Let's run this hose down into it and we'll set it right here. See if it's gonna pump. So let's watch this line right here and we'll see if it squirts any gas out. Yeah, it's all right. Yep. All right. Gas on the distributor, that's all right. Let me uh, actually put a filter on this thing. Let's put the old one back on. It's pretty cleared out now. And see if this thing's gonna start up. And then we need to top off the radiator. But, okay, let's uh, give this thing a shot, see what happens. Yet. Yep. Okay. Choke. One step in the process of getting this thing to run on its own. It's pulling from the uh, bottle, so get that disconnected and we'll uh, check out the uh, fuel lines. But of course, we got to fine tune that carburetor, adjust the uh, uh, idle, and all that stuff. So we'll get to that but she's running and uh, probably put a little additive in this oil. There's still a little light tapping going on, but I think that's just from sitting up. It'll, uh, it'll come back around. But I guess the next thing we need to do is see, we might stick the uh, boroscope down in the gas tank, see if we can see what's down in there and see if this uh, fuel line's even cleared out. So we'll probably move on to that next. I just found something cool on this car that I wish 
all American cars have, something that uh, most foreign cars have that I've worked on, is go under here to the gas tank. It actually has a drain plug. Uh, it sounds surprisingly empty, which means they probably, you know, siphon the gas out of it. But we're going to pop this uh, drain plug loose and see if it is, in fact, empty. And then we'll uh, check the uh, fuel lines under there, somewhere under there. We'll check those and see if it's blocked from the front to here, and then possibly the uh, pickup tube on the inside. So let's uh, see if we can get a wrench on this. It does sound empty. go see if anything starts coming out this would make things so much easier because I know most car guys me included this is one of the things we hate especially when you're rescuing old cars see anything nothing that could be good or bad Uh, this is blocked. Yeah, let's see if I can't get a camera down in there. But let me uh, go ahead and put that back in loose. Let's see what we got going on. I haven't been under here yet. Uh, fuel line. Oh, okay. We do have a rubber hose. Oh, well, look at that. Way to go, Ford. Put everything right here. Don't even have to drop the tank for the uh, sending unit. Okay, let me uh, need to change this hose out probably anyways. Um, and it's probably evidence that it's been leaking. So that might, might have been okay. Um, let me... Uh, let me see if I can get this sending unit out real quick. Um, oh, it's just a connector. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to disconnect this, pop this out real quick. Um, I don't have a lot of room to film under here or to mount the camera while I do this. So let me get all this disconnected and get this out, and then we'll be able to actually look straight in the tank and see what we're working with if we need to take it out. Or if we just do it, you know, uh, vice grip garage style and just keep changing out filters till it <laughs> cleans itself. Um, we'll see what's easier. Uh, so, well, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, tune, we'll tune back in in just a second. Let me see if I can get this, this unit out. Well, it's not what I wanted to see, but kind of what I was expecting. It's uh, pretty bad which means all of this stuff is definitely in the tank and stuck my hand up in where this goes in and immediately could feel stuff in the bottom of the tank. So probably, well, definitely gonna have to drop it, but we might end up just replacing it. It might be easier because yeah, if it's that bad, that means it probably has weak spots, soft spots. So even if we get it cleaned out, at some point it could start leaking. So I don't know. We'll uh, yeah, we'll get it out and see what our steps are going to be to rectify that situation. So I'll be back. Well, apparently the gas tanks on these cars come out through the trunk. So that's interesting. So here's a perfect opportunity to clean this out. Ooh. Okay. Find out what all is in here. Somebody made, uh, these are bath mats with mold. That's good. Uh, I don't know. Turtle, wow. 
turtle wax in a glass jar. Still good? Yeah, yeah, no. There's an old tail light, broken. <laughs> this has got to be 80s. And I can tell by these headphones. How many of you guys were rocking those things back in the 80s? Engine degreaser dead. Uh, empty. This we need to keep. Hopefully, well, we'll clean that up, make it look new again. God, there's a lot of these. <laughs> uh, this is giving me flashbacks from childhood. Oh, these are wet. Definitely need to change out the seals. Uh, that's... That's for glass. Um, I don't know if that goes to this car, but we'll hang on to it just in case. Is this one of those old school folding? It is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, well, oh, that's metal. Iceman. Oops. Is there any dates on any of this stuff? Oh, Kmart. That's where that oil filter came from. No date. God, I miss these prices. I, yeah. I don't miss the fashion style, but give it time. It'll come back around. Cafeteria special, baked Salisbury steak and whipped potatoes dinner with vegetable roll and butter plus soft drink, $1.99. Hmm. God, we had bad taste in clothing back then. Ooh, that stuck. That's, yeah, ooh. What is that? That's... I don't know. Uh, little thermostat. That was... No, it was newer. No, it's used. Uh, a wiper. Again. Don't know if it goes to this car. Oh, what do we got here? Ooh, that's for the transmission. Huh. Well, it looks like it's got wet. All right, what do we got? Ah. It's a bag of brand new parts, but I don't know what it goes to. Anybody know what that is? I don't know. Hang on to it. Ugh. Good old bumper jack. These are so safe. Good stuff. There's a socket. All right, that goes in the socket drawer. Screws. Yep, there's the gas tank. That's actually pretty cool. The only thing you'd have to get under this car for is the uh, sending unit. There's something up there I can't reach, but this mat is shot, so I guess we'll just go ahead and 
take it out of here. Plus we can see how rotten this pan is. gas tank on top is nice and shiny. Oh, falling apart. I'm gonna make the little one get out here. She can vacuum. She hadn't been, been around in the videos much because school. Well, nothing exciting. We just need to uh, get this tank out though. Every time I end up throwing away bolts that I think I don't need, I find out they go to something. Maybe we'll hang on to them, put them in this bag. All right, yeah, the rest of this is gonna be just vacuuming, which isn't exciting. So I'll vacuum this out real quick and uh, then we'll tune back in and we'll get a uh, official look at how this pan looks in here. There's not a lot of pans since the gas tank takes up this section. So, okay, we'll be back. Well, I'm surprised it's uh, not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. There's a few little bitty rust outs that we can patch. But other than that, yeah, a little dot there, dot there. Those can all be fixed pretty easily, so. Yeah, I'm really surprised with as much water was in here. So, all right, let me get uh, this loose, disconnect this, get this vacuum or vent hose off of here, and then uh, let's work on uh, getting this tank up out of the trunk. All right, let's start back here. Hopefully these don't break. Oh. Nope. Well, uh, there it is. <laughs> I heard it, didn't see it. This old girl just needed some love. going to give it to her even though she's a Ford Fords need love too okay uh, might be easier to do that with a socket Big old hose clamps. Ooh, I can smell the varnish. to clean that neck up too. That's pretty gnarly. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me grab, probably need a hammer and channel locks. Clamps are nice and stuck. Ripped. 
Oh, yeah, that's pretty bad. And yeah, I had to replace that anyways. Oh well. Yeah, these hoses are just too petrified. Have to get a, a razor blade after them. Okay, let's see if we can get this the vacuum. I'm just gonna cut that hose. Well, that's some very stout hose. Golly. There's the soft spot. All right. Yeah. Okay. Looks like we're going to need half inch. And well, they put that one in a bad spot. Oh, long extension. Okay. Half inch long extension impact. That'll work. Alright, let's see if any of these break. Oh. Uh Yeah. It's pretty nasty. It has been a few days because ordered new parts, ordered a new fuel tank, new sending unit, uh, brake parts, whatever. Had to wait a couple days because these aren't readily available for Falcons. So the new sending unit and all that stuff came in. Well, I went to pick up all the parts and I picked up the sending unit box and I said, this feels very light. So we opened it, empty box, somehow, yeah, even the store, people were like, we don't know how that would have happened. And luckily the store number that it came from was on there so they can try and track that down, figure it out. But that took a little extra time, took another two days for the right part to get here. But uh, instead of boring you with, you saw me take it out. So there's the new one. It's in, new sending unit. This tank is shaped different and a little bigger which means I had to cut the muffler out because it was against the tank, but it's in. So we'll just have to figure out the muffler situation. This thing's probably gonna be a little goofy sounding, but I had to put new hoses on, all that kind of stuff. And uh, checked the hard lines from the front to the back. They're actually solid, good, cleared them out, uh, ran some uh, cleaner through them just to make sure get all the, any sediment or anything that might be in there. Put new hoses on and actually a transparent filter. So what we're gonna do now is turn this thing over, see if we start getting fuel up to the carburetor and this thing should sit here and hopefully run under its own power for the first time since 1988. So let's give it a shot. All right, I'll let you guys watch this. It's probably gonna take uh, several cranks or a hundred to get fuel up to here, but let's see what happens. I saw a little bit. 
I have to get a charge on this battery because the charging system is not working. Oh. All right, we got fuel up to the filter. I'm really glad we got a filter on it because that isn't early looking. Acting like it's not getting fuel. No. What is going on? I have to check this carburetor out. I'll probably take this apart and see what's going on. Okay, let me look over this real quick and then uh, we'll tune back in. Let me figure out what's going on. Make sure this is pumping and we'll try this again. Well, after a little diagnosing, it looks like this brand new fuel pump is not pumping. Pulled the hose off and yeah, it just already cratered out, probably made in China. So let me get that off of there and have to order in a new one again and get that swapped out. So, all right, we'll uh, tune back in again when the new pump gets here and then uh, get that part going and then we can start working on brakes. So we'll be back. Okay, after two different, no, I'm sorry, three different fuel pumps, None of them were working. And so I pushed it down in where it's supposed to go. And while I had it in there, I turned the engine over and I noticed the cam was not activating the lever on the fuel pump. So I looked at the angle of the arm on that fuel pump compared to the original one made in the USA. And the pitch is way different. So it was just barely touching it, not enough to pump it because bad design is all I'm going to say, bad design. So instead of fighting with all that, I uh, cut out a little plate to delete the mechanical and we're just going to convert this to electric. Sorry about that. The battery made the camera go haywire. So we're going to convert this to electric, but what we're going to do next is I'm tired of making trips back and forth to O'Reilly's because it's the other side of the lake. We're going to finally see what's under this cap. So I do have my oldest here. <laughs> we're going to uh, check that first, just in case, probably so. I already have a new master cylinder here. And just in case, and probably so, I've got the three rubber lines because 
you've seen my luck if you've watched my videos. I have no luck with the rubber lines on any of these cars. They are always stopped up or break. So just to be, are you meeping? Mm. <laughs> so just in case this time I have them on hand already ready to go. So I guess what we're gonna do first is let's uh, see if we can get this cap off. It is really, really stuck. Uh, yeah, let me hand the camera to the kiddo. I'm gonna grab some channel locks and see if we can get this cap off and see what it looks like under there. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Crunchy. Oh. oh, goodness. Yeah. That's already a bad sign. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Goodness. Can't look, can't look, can't look. Wow. Um, I wasn't dry. expecting that. It was bone dry. Yeah, let me. Here. Uh, oh, here, let me grab my. I got these charged. Oh, okay. Yeah, normally you hear that kind of crunch. You're not going to... That's... Uh, Bone dry? Very clean. There's not even particles. There's a little... No, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's but... what just came off the cap, but... Yeah. Um... Yeah, um, let me put a little fluid in there and let me see if I can, we'll see what happens. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was not expecting that. I was expecting that to be full, which, uh, I mean, if it's that bone dry, it obviously has a bad leak somewhere. Um, where's my, where's my fluid? Yeah, let's put some down in there and let's just see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna try hitting the pedal. And y'all watch right there. Let's see if it does anything. Oh, that's stuck. <laughs> oh, there it goes. What did it do? Bubble. It bubbled? Well, it just popped loose. Oh, it's going down. More bubbles. Sounding better already. I will laugh if that master cylinder is actually still good. Is it empty or is it still? It's still about halfway. Okay. Is it bubbling at all? Or? Mm -hmm. It's still is it? You yeah. can see the little mechanism on the inside. It's opening. Oh, you can see it? Let it the, go the, in. the piston? Yeah. So it? Yeah. I'm seeing it every time you do it. Well, we might not need the master cylinder. <laughs> bubbles bubbles are good that means air is coming out we definitely gotta figure out where the leak is though this is very entertaining <laughs> Fred came out and it did see. a really big bubble. It's rusty looking. Okay. Well, let's add some more. Oh, it's just a little bit dusty. It's not bad. I can't believe that master cylinder works. Pedal's actually getting firmer. In a minute, we'll have to look under the car. Oh, hey, we're building pressure. Yeah, when you stopped, it does a weird like fountain in the middle of it. No, that's fine. Yeah, it's building pressure. Whoa, it just got real. Yeah, it's shooting it up now. It's actually spilling a little out. Holy crap. Yeah, there's actually a pedal. <laughs> of course, 
I get prepared and I buy all the parts we're probably going to need and then we won't need. Yeah, it actually has, there's almost full pedal now. Oh, that's about, no, it's about half. He's made a mess. Oh, is it coming out that bad? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I hate when that happens. <laughs> that's a good sign though. Okay, I'll have to look around underneath. Let me see if I see any puddles under the car. No wet tires? Oh, wait. I can't tell. Yeah, it looks like the back right wheel cylinders probably leaking. Oh, I see a drip over here. Oh, yep. Front passenger. <laughs> front, yeah, front passenger looks like the rubber hose. Yep, I can see the shiny from here. Yeah, it's the rubber hose. Ah. Yeah, there's the crack in it right there. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> the way you popped up. <laughs> <laughs> we have the hose <laughs> somewhere. Yeah, look, brand new hose. Dad thought ahead. Yes, it doesn't matter because I got to go to Riley's again and get a clickety clackety electric fuel pump. <laughs> well, let's uh, um, someone's stalking us. Okay, fast forward a couple days. We ended up getting interrupted by a uh, really sweet elderly couple that wanted to come up and talk to us about the Zombug and all the other projects we got laying around here. So we ended up spending some time talking to them. And uh, if you're watching us now, hi. So the oldest isn't here, but we have the little one. She's back. Okay, we're going to, uh... oh, let me catch you up real quick. In the meantime, got the electric fuel pump hooked up and routed in and starts and runs perfect. Well, doesn't start, well, it was starting. And then for some reason, there's a problem between the ignition switch and the solenoid. So we've got to figure that out. But in the meantime, we're gonna see if we can figure out as these Harleys get past us. If we can get these wheels unseized. They're not fully seized, they're lightly moving. So hopefully that's good. So we're gonna get the little one set up so she can get start getting these front wheels off and we know we're going to change the front hoses so we're going to do that first and then we'll go ahead and inspect everything behind the uh the uh hub assembly whatever the drum that's what i was looking for behind the drum see what we got going on and we'll see how much we need to repair in there if anything if everything so let's get the kids started on taking wheels off okay get after it See, you're a little rusty. You're about as rusty as this car is. Let's see how you do. <laughs> Keep going. There you go. No, what are you doing? It's in there. <laughs> Here. Oh, well, you can just do it that way because you got tiny fingers. <laughs> Let's go back a little bit. No, you got room. There you go. Some advantages to having a little one, their fingers fit. <laughs> one more. You gotta make sure it stays in the socket. There you go. All right. Go ahead and go tackle the other side. Let me see what we got going on over here. Oh, 
let's see. Don't lose them. Oh, okay. Well, that's that looks very good. What? This grease looks pretty fresh. Got them all off? Yeah. Good job. Okay. That's all right. You can leave that one. Let's see what we got going on over here first. Oh, that is pretty fresh, I guess. Look at that. Hard. That hard? Yeah. See if you see my little hook tool over there on my toolbox. The little, it's a got a bright orange handle and it looks like a it's got a pointy looking hook on the end of it. This? Yeah. Good job. Uh, oh, we got I that. That's like what's holding foot, it up. This is what I found. Let's see what we got going on here. I got so much grease, I can't see it. There we go. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was pretty loose. What is under there? It's all grease and bearings. Do we have uh, that plastic bag right there? Dump, dump what's in that bag in the uh, in the box. Yeah, it's just filters. Dump those down in there, and then let's use the the bag to set this stuff on so it don't get dirty. You don't want to get dirt up in this stuff. Because uh -huh. why? Because it'll make it get in a bind and mess it up oh. oh yeah those brakes are definitely pretty stuck let's see how we got what we got going on here those bearings look good mm -hmm. yeah everything in here looks good Brakes holding up right there on top. I wonder if I'll probably see if we can get this hose off and oh. um I know we're gonna have to change these ball joints because they were getting stuck the wrong direction. Um so what we need to do first is probably get the torch and heat this up. Spider, yeah, there's spider webs all over this car, yeah. along with mud and rust and mud daubers and, mm -hmm. and yeah, and whatever that is. Mud. Yeah, that is really stuck. Stuck out of. <laughs> oh, that was uh, coolant because it was over full. Oh. Um, definitely need to do new sway bar links. Those are shot. I uh, need to do new shocks because those are shot. The metal brake lines look good, so that's that's good. Okay, let's uh, tell you what. Grab my... I know what we can do. Oh, well, we don't need to even do that. It just broke right off. Mm. Look at that. We definitely needed new ones. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll torch that, get that hot. And we need to see about what we need to do to get this back piece off. Let me grab a, let me grab us a light. 
Let's see, you can probably get that off maybe with a deep socket. Oh god. The what? spider's in the web. Huh? Where? Mm. See it? Oh, the yeah. Leg? It is still in there. Oh, she's actually alive too. Huh. That's alright. That's not a bad one. Because I can tell. Let's see what we got going on here. Yeah. See if this is going to get in there or not. No, we're not bringing the work pillows out here. That's for that's for the ice man's knees. <laughs> when he has to crawl up underneath something too big. Too big. Well, what size is this? There we go. Alright, let's see if we can get this one off. Oops. Well, that came off pretty easy. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to have to get some wheel cylinders hmm. I was hoping that was maybe had some restricted fluid in it but let me see what it looks like oh yeah it's rusty in there okay wheel go ahead and back up a little bit I'm gonna have to get a little rough with it and see if we can get this thing to pop loose Pushing it. Oh, yeah, it's shot. That's why it folded. Ah. Hmm. Uh, I was suspecting that it was going to be easy to pull off. <laughs> no. Getting better. There it goes. Got it. <laughs> yeah, look at all that. Oh. Dirt. That's grease. At least all of that looks fine. You okay? Those pads are yeah. Those pads are actually new when they were. Put on. Pads. Ooh. Let's see. Yep, that wheel cylinder boot is shot. Get mad at you. So, let's see. Are these salvageable? Uh, that would be a no. We need new shoes too, because that one is chewed up. Shoes. Yeah, these are called brake shoes. Oh. Make you stop. I thought you were talking about like real shoes. No. Okay, so we need to get the hubs or the rotors or yeah, drums. The drums we can clean up, I'm not worried about that. These pads are petrified and we need, need new wheel cylinders. So, we'll go ahead and order the parts for all four, just in case, because they're probably going to all be this bad. And that's a very interesting setup. Huh. Never seen... 
springs like that before. Spring. Everything else looks okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that spring. Wagner Lockheed, USA. Okay, well, now that we know more or less what we're going to need just by looking at this one, let me get on the horn and see if I can actually get these parts and we'll tune back in uh, as soon as they arrive and we can start putting all this together. So we'll be back again. Good morning. It's two days later thanks to having to work and waiting on parts. But we got new shoes for the old girl, new wheel cylinders, and a new tie rod in so that front right wheel doesn't go that direction anymore because that would be bad while you're driving. Uh, would be a very interesting hard turn to the right. But a little chilly out here, so bear with me. Uh, Bipolar Texas weather, because later it's gonna be in the 70s. Right now it's cold. But uh, one thing on this car I noticed, typically the springs are a different style that hold the shoes to the wheel uh, or to the hub assembly. I've never encountered this before. The rest of this is all normal and Oops, nobody had hardware kits for this locally. So we're gonna try and salvage. These springs still look good, as long as they come off in one piece. But we're gonna try and get this off of here and see how this works. I am new to this and tried looking it up, couldn't find any information on this. Um, so, yeah. So if you haven't seen it before either, we're gonna learn together, because even though I've got 30 plus years of experience working on cars, no one's gonna run into something that they've, you know, or that's they've seen before, uh, or let me rephrase that. No one has seen everything, no matter how much experience they got. So, uh, yeah, like I said, bear with me, I'm cold. But let's, uh, let's get started, uh, get these springs off, get the wheel cylinder off, all the rubber lines are off, we need to change those out. But let's get the wheel cylinder off and see how this works. You have to bear with me on the audio today. There's a lot of diesel trucks driving around, but I'm okay with it because they are installing our new fiber. So for the first time ever of living out here, we're gonna have high-speed internet. It's gonna make uh, our lives a lot easier. And we'll be able to do a lot more with you guys. suppliers <laughs> or whatever works don't ever buy the uh, brake tool from China <laughs> Okay, right and left. Okay, we can get the wheel cylinder off now, which that should be a 7 16 I think. Oh, it's crusty back here. Yeah, it looks like 7 16 And, huh. Looks like these Oh, okay. So these springs just set down through the shoes. I'm glad they changed that design later because getting that hooked back in there is not going to be fun. Uh, yep, interesting. Loud diesel. Uh. 
Okay. Oh, does it really come out that easy? This might not be as bad as I thought it was. Oh, okay. Huh. It's a very interesting design, but... Okay. <laughs> All right, so that's how those work. You learn something every day. I guess those are going to be all right. Yeah. Okay, well, we got more room to work here, so let's get that off. And before anyone says anything, yes, the car's on jack stands. See if I can get a socket on it. <clears throat> oh, yep, sure can. That sucker stuck. <laughs> Hammer. Oh. Yeah. You see the boot? That's definitely shot. And a lot of people say, well, just rebuild them. Well, by the time you buy the parts, in your labor and time of getting it all, the new ones cost about the same price. So, oh, actually I better take that so I can match it up. Cause it needs to be that way. Okay. And save that for Iceman. Which, by the way, if you haven't been to the merch store, people ask for it. There's now merch for the Iceman, so go check that out. There's also a new design for the Graveyard family. And if you look real closely, the Iceman is on there too. Okay. Actually, let me clean that up real quick. While all the, yeah. Um, spray it and then, oh, definitely need that. And then we'll use, Probably Yeah, let's use error. Uh oh. Where'd that clip go? Do it blow it away? Need that. Um, uh oh. Of course, it blends in with everything. Take that out till we need it. Good enough for that. Where did you go? This is when I need the little one because she spots things like that. And I don't have my glasses with me. Where? Instead of boring you with me crawling around on the ground looking for this thing, uh, we'll be right back. Found it. <laughs> All right, let's get this 
new wheel cylinder in here. Get to the other side? Maybe. Oh. I'm really surprised. You can actually get a socket to it. Alright. Got that done. Knock my socket off. Can do the hose in a minute. Let's get these new shoes on here and spin this all the way in get these springs reattached. That's so funny. Um, that might be easier with needle nose. Ugh. position and this one this actually does come in pretty useful on this if it don't slip off sitting right cocked down in there all right that looks more better about there yeah okay and other spring <laughs> bend that one down too That's what I was talking about slipping. Get all these brakes done and then we'll find out if this transmission is any good and how much power it doesn't have. And man, y'all blew up my comments about two-speed transmission. Chevy's got one, Chevy's got one, Chevy's got one. 
I don't usually have automatics in classic cars, so forgive me for not knowing that. And then they talked about, or a lot of you talked about dragsters. Well, the only dragster I ever had is the one I have now that's made out of a lawnmower. And it's a manual too. So, y'all go easy on me just because I haven't seen something or had something. But yeah, I have heard of a power glide transmission from a from Chevy. Just never had one. Or if I did, I never paid attention in my younger days. Alright. Uh get this cleaned up. Regreased and get the uh drum back on. I got cleaned up one of them. I think uh, this one. I cleaned up this one. I need to clean up the other one. Oh, we need to get that rubber hose on. Which that's good. Get the clip back on. Get that hooked up. I guess we can go ahead and put the rubber hose on real quick. Okay. I think it's a 5 8 that on there real quick better be the right size there you go okay all right nice okay you get a 5 8 wrench get that tightened up Done. Uh, let's see. Clean that, grease that. Yeah, I'm surprised how good the bearings looked, but from what I can tell, it looks like uh, the other pads and everything, this thing was serviced probably again right before it was parked. So saved us a saved us some work, even though it sat, it's still in good shape. Okay, I'm gonna have to definitely check the load. Uh, it looks like when they put the uh, the drums back on, they didn't put any any tighten to them. It's like they just hand tightened them and put the cotter pins in. So we'll definitely check the loads on those. Oh, look at that! Yeah. Yeah, it's still pretty greasy. Yeah, you can see where it's, when they pressed it, it's still sticking out. But we're gonna add some more anyways, just to the outside, because it's still packed very solid on the inside. straight up Feels pretty good. Mm. 
ね。Teeth are sticking out. New cotter pin. About that size? Yep. Go on. Okay. We just need to adjust the the drag on the brakes. Which might be able to do it right now. That's about, about where we need it. All right. Okay, won't bore you with uh, doing the other side. It's the same thing. So I'm gonna knock out that side real quick and then we will uh, jump to the back and see what we're dealing with back there. And that one's probably gonna be worse because I think one of them is stuck stuck, whereas these had a little bit of movement those are not moving so we'll be back when we're uh, ready for the back all right this one not really looking forward to uh the other front right went off without a hitch it just yeah smooth as butter uh, headphone warning Eardrum warning. I'm gonna have to get really rough. Let me add some more jack stands and I'll be right back. Okay. I turned the camera off because me and this old girl had to have a very heated discussion. And I had to put my claws on her. but got it off. That sucker fought. I mean, I put the impact behind that thing and it barely finally, it, it crawled, crawled, and then just finally popped loose. Good morning again. Gonna get back to tackling this with help from the oldest. She's back again. Kids just keep randomly popping up, <laughs> but it's good. Uh, she's never done drum breaks before, so I'm gonna break her in on something everything on the drum brakes on this is normal except those those hold down springs that's the only thing that's different kind of a pain uh because modern day they lock on the outside of the shoes these lock in behind the shoes this one's going to be a lot harder to do because the axle and the hub are over it so and we have to deal with the e-brake but we're going to start dismantling this and uh, get the new stuff on. So here we go. Yup, that's cold. <laughs> cold cement. Okay, let's get these springs off first. Maybe. Oh, that one's on there. All right, that's the right one. Put that on the right. Great. That one is up in there. It's got a lot of goop <laughs> that probably doesn't help either. Huh? Said it has a lot of goop on it that probably doesn't help either. These this one never works, but we'll try it. That little hook never grabs it. But maybe with 
Oh, come on. You want me to hold this while you do that? Oh, it actually worked that time. That tool never works right. <laughs> All right, left side. Okay. Now, I wonder if those pads are still good. These look a lot better than the front ones. Hmm. Let's see. They're not shattering. We might just change the wheel cylinders. Clean up the, uh, why do I always, drums. I always get stuck on that word. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Um, just think of Uncle Kyle. <laughs> Uncle Kyle. Oh. Yeah, let's, uh, well, that one came unhooked. There's a clip, st yeah, the clip's still there. Great. Oh, you know what? I wonder if that's why it was, or did that just happen? I don't know. Mm -hmm. We'll start with the wheel cylinder. I was just trying to figure out why it was seized so bad because ah. I took all the uh, I retracted the rod all the way down and it was still stuck. But let's start with the uh, start with that first, which means we need vice grips. Let's see if this is going to come loose or if we need fire. You and fire are not a good idea. I like fire. Apparently fire really likes you too. Yeah, or it doesn't. It's always trying to get me. Um. Not a good sign. Not wanting to come out? <laughs> no. You want some safety glasses with all that rust under there? Nope. <laughs> Why are you backing away? <laughs> Back away? At least the gas tank's empty. No, it's not. It's brand new. Yep. And it's gas. <laughs> That's great, Dad. Okay, let's see if that helped. It smelt funny. Really? Made it that easy? It was just cold. Be nice. Yep. <laughs> That's all it took. I'm seeing fluid. That's a good sign. I still can't believe that master cylinder came back like that the other day. It works great. Still attached to the... What? Oh. Yeah. I was sitting there watching it and it was just wiggling around. Well, that don't look as bad as the other ones. These boots are actually still soft. But there is gunk in there. You wanna grab the new ones? Uh, master uh, Two little gray boxes with matching part numbers. Those are white boxes, Dad. What did I say? Gray. That's great. <laughs> Break this, not master. <laughs> it's something like that. Mm -hmm. Of course, made in China. <laughs> well, those look different. Is that the same? The. They're a little different, but that matches. Okay, well, hopefully. Oh, hello, honeybee. 
I don't mind being it's not in my face. Get away from my bee, I heard you. <laughs> I had one in my truck on the way here. Oh, when I'm sitting there waiting for your sister with the windows open, they they swarm into my truck. <laughs> I noticed that the last time I tried, I went to go pick her up because me and Addie were sitting in there in the truck eating. And it was either honeybees or flies flying in. Yep. Oh, that's definitely flies. The other night I was out here messing with this girl and mosquitoes actually showed up no i know they're supposed to be like eradicated already yeah <laughs> mm, i wonder if these were yeah there's no ridges on them that's all the way in What are you looking for? Yeah, let's just clean this drum up real quick and then we'll uh, see if we can get it back on or not. These are very thick and that chip is not going to make a difference. So let's try that and then we'll try and put it back on. Okay, to make this easier, we pulled out the uh, adjuster pin because it would not retract all the way. So it completely disassembled it, greased the threads, and it works like brand new now. So, we should be good. It was just froze up is what the problem was. Oh, that was a lot easier. Yeah. And yeah, we'll just... Uh, probably leave it right there because it's yeah it'll adjust itself yeah okay so this side's done we'll knock out the other side and unless we run into something we need to show you we'll tune back in when we're done with that and then we're gonna start uh, trying to bleed the system and Oh, I did uh, yesterday. I replaced the rubber hose back up under there. Nothing worth filming. It's boring. Disconnect, reconnect, done. So, okay, we're going to knock out the other side real quick, and then we'll be back. Okay, we're back. Got it done. This passenger side metal brake line blew out on us, so we had to go do a parts run get that. But we've got them um, all back together, getting the wheels put back on. We've already bled the system why there's piddle all over the place and brakes are working good so we're gonna get the oldest out of the bathtub that the Iceman brought us again graveyard stuff somebody threw away a really cool cast iron clawfoot tub so we're either gonna sell it or fix it up for it's a little it. sister. <laughs> Save it for when I get my first house. Oh, yeah? Well, <laughs> I'm sure Iceman will find more of those for us. And so she's going to pop the wheels back on real quick. Is there enough height or do I need to lift the car some more? Oh, no, I'm getting these before I sit down. Oh, <laughs> good idea. Your sissy took them off. You can put them on. Shit. Oh, yeah, those tires are go-kart size, so... <laughs> Yeah, like I said, these are the dinkiest tires I have ever messed with. <laughs> oh, no. Play with a, like a BMW Isetta. They're like little, yeah, they're about the size of my foot. They're teeny tiny. You can be nice and well known. All right. Oh, Get rust. that done. And then, uh, let's see what we got going on under here. I'm really surprised. That old master cylinder still worked, but I think what saved us is that all the fluid leaked out, so it was dry and clean and didn't, you know, turn to that powdery dust that we normally end up with. I think this specific one is stripped. Not the stud, but the bolt. I love that. Because I tried it on this one and that oh, that's one. turning. Turning for you. <laughs> Got a little rust on it. <laughs> all right, we'll get these... Uh, 
wheels back on and then see how much time we've got. Can't really do a star pattern with these. Just do crisscross applesauce. <laughs> Work it around a few times. You'd be Give me my tool back. Hit the button while you're hit the button. No, hit the button while you're doing it, and then you can slowly pull it back. There you go. Oh, neat. <laughs> you're supposed to do it while really? it, while it's going. I was. <laughs> With you, your hand. Family friendly. Family friendly. <laughs> meep 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 meep. Mhm. Mm <laughs> Is it good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let me see what time we got. I don't know if I've got to go pick up the little one yet. Um, if not, we'll get this thing on the ground and see if it actually moves. It takes a little bit for it to kick into first or reverse too. When I put it in reverse, it mm -hmm. takes like three seconds and then it jumps. You so. saw it like inch. Yeah, when you it, put it she's, in. She's trying. Um, it's 
probably going to be why this car was parked there's probably some kind of transmission issue not to mention we did find that uh, modulator and stuff in the trunk so probably why this thing was parked so we'll do that next and another good morning i guess after doing a uh, little bit more tinkering with this old girl checking some forums and talking to some friends it appears we're going to have to pull this transmission out and rebuild it. Uh, apparently it's kind of common what happens to the clutches in this thing. I'm not a transmission guy. I've rebuilt some manuals. I've never rebuilt an automatic. So why not give it a shot on this thing? We're going to see. Uh, I guess if we can make it happen. Uh, I'm going to order a rebuild kit and we'll get the transmission out of this thing. We'll do a rebuild on it, go through it. Of course, change all the seals, the clutches, all that thing, all that stuff. Uh, I found the kits, they're very common. Uh, so I'm gonna order a kit. And unfortunately, not gonna happen in this video because we've gotta get the kit in. It's gonna take a little while to get that out. And we've already been working on this video for like two weeks and uh, we need to get this video out. So we're gonna get this one out. But in the meantime, we did land on a name that somebody suggested. Uh, we got a lot of great suggestions. Uh, it was a lot of fun reading the names. Um, a lot of a lot of people were landing on like Franny and stuff like that. But the one that caught me uh, kind of early on, it hit my nerd strings. We're gonna name her, and I did talk to our team and you know the girls and even talked to the owner of the Falcon and he thought it was funny and cool too. So her new name is Millie, if you get the hint. What a piece of junk. She may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts, kid. So yeah, that hit my nerd strings. Not to mention, I mean, episode four, the first movie that came out uh, came out the year I was born, so that tells you how old I am. Um, so yeah, M Millie, the Millennium Falcon. Um, now we know why it was parked, unfortunately. Uh, transmission issues, because it wasn't making sense that something that ran this good and had that much maintenance done was just sitting. Um, and now we know why transmission issues so there's that uh, what else new designs in the merch store make sure you check those out and a lot of people ask us if uh, we have a p.o box yes it's in the channel description and i will also put it in the video description from now on that way people don't have to go searching for it if you want our p.o box to send us something it's going to start being in the video description. So there's that. Um, yeah, getting ready for the Christmas holidays. So it's going to be hit or miss when we get our next video up. We're trying to shuffle things on top of having to work a lot to make some money to keep this going. So um, we do appreciate all the love and support. If you could help us get out there more. Um, I don't know how these, I don't think anybody knows how these algorithms work on YouTube, but we need to get out there more. Uh, we don't want uh, uh, us to get buried, I guess, because um, we have seen that happen. But I think we're doing pretty good. I mean, being that we just started nine, ten months ago, and uh, our uh, sub counts, very good. So we really do appreciate it. Uh, me and the girls are, you know, very excited about hopefully getting to the point where we can do this full time because that would be great, um, get a lot more footage. And we're about to have our uh, fiber installed, so we'll actually be able to do uh, live stuff. So as soon as the fiber is installed, we will be doing a live chat with you guys, and we'll do an announcement ahead of time. That way you know when we're gonna be live and you can tune in and hang out with me and the girls. Uh, we'll probably just set up out here in the garage somewhere if the internet allows it. and. Uh, chit chat with you guys and answer questions and talk about you know things we want to do but uh all right i guess that's gonna 
wrap up with this uh, this old girl for now. And uh, I guess part three will be, is it part three, part four? I don't know where we are. The next part is going to be us getting the transmission out and watching me attempt to rebuild it. Um, I saw a diagram. I, I have confidence. I think I can pull it off. We'll see. I don't know. Can't get any worse. It's not moving anywhere but backwards. So, but again, much love. We love you guys. And uh, yeah, we will see you in the next one, hopefully soon.